It's been 24 hours since top realtors Bijan Hirji and Reed Griner started looking for Tom and Fran's dream home. Tom and Fran have a budget of $360,000. We need this house. We need this house big time. <laughs> Both realtors have scoured the listings, but Bijan was first off the mark, <laughs> claiming Reed's favorite listing. I think Bijan was up late at night worried about me. When I met Reed for the first time, I really felt like he was overbearing. Right, let's get started. Reed has found this detached home in Fran and Tom's preferred neighborhood in the southwest corner of Mississauga. It has everything on Fran and Tom's wish list. But at $427,000, it's almost $70,000 over what they said they wanted to spend. I tend to find that buyers will buy up. Um, if I show them something small and it's like, oh, we hate the house, we don't like it, I didn't listen to them. I didn't listen to their wishes. Um, they could always change the price, they can't change the house. Nice size living room, dining room for you. I really like it. I thought the kitchen was a really nice feature. Oh, it's cute. It's good size, especially for, you know, just two of you or if you're starting a family soon. Oh, yeah. I think you could run a gas line out here and get the barbecue going. What street is that? That is actually Laird. That's the only downside about the lot. That road's a problem. I know. One of the reasons why we want to live out in the burbs is because, you know what? It's quiet, it's peaceful. Here's the man cave, like I was telling you about. This is unbelievable. So, oh no. They're also including the two couches, the widescreen TV, and the surround system. Uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Do not be swayed by a television. I can't help it. Yes, you can. Come on up. Nice Juliet staircase. Wow. So, you've got a full bath ensuite. How would you feel if I told you the asking price on this was $427? What do you think? Is that is that too far out of your budget range? Tough call. Yeah, we don't need a new car. We don't need to really pay for our wedding, right? Mm. <laughs> oh my God. I think that Francis and Tom loved the house. I mean, did you see Tom's face when he saw the man cave down here in the basement? Uh, I don't even know what to say. That was great. Fran was pretty dead set against it. Let's be frank. No doubt. The house is awesome. Is it that overpowering for you? Yeah, it is. Is this the right house? Yeah. Is it in the wrong spot? Maybe. I think Tom's gonna work on her a little bit. I don't think it's that bad. The occasional bus comes through, but you know what I mean? Tom's got lots to learn about being married. Not far away, Bijan has chosen a newly built home in Mississauga's West End. Bijan is used to working in Toronto, so already Reed has the advantage. This is quite a quite what they had in mind. Uh, only thing is, I don't think the house is what they had in mind. There's a trade-off here: a uh, single car garage and an unfinished basement. But here's the advantage: they're getting way more house for the money. They're getting a newer house. And at 424.5, Bijan is showing a house that is also way over Tom and Fran's budget. Is there another garage in the back? I totally have my work cut out for me today. Hey, come on in. Wow. Living room, dining room. And did you notice the shiny, newer hardwood floors? Yes. yes. Now, the upstairs has carpeting, which is nicer. It adds a little bit of soundproofing. Oh. And second floor laundry. Let's go into the master right here. Okay. Nice double door. Very cute. It's a nice size. Definitely. And final bedroom. Great for a guest room or an office also. Yeah, absolutely. So basement's not finished. It's large and has it is. a huge amount of potential. Look at the size of this kitchen. That's really cute. Isn't that it beautiful? Is nice. Eden. This is a huge room. And uh, outside, lovely deck. The price is a little bit more than you're willing to pay. It's 424500 <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna sit now. <laughs> I don't think it went well at all. And then when he said 424, I honestly thought he was kidding at first. No, I really thought he was joking. And I, then while we were waiting, I honestly to... thought he was joking around. <laughs> I think if this was like four hundred thousand dollars, they'd be very interested, right? But I know it's above their range. If you're gonna show me something that's 424. You better make sure that it's got all the elements. Our first house that we went to go see with Reed. Yeah. At 
that that ticked off everything. If it didn't sit on the back of a street, I think honestly, anyways, we don't go there. Mm -hmm. I know they like me. <laughs> Why? Why? Bijan, pay attention. In this situation, not only am I competing for the property, I have to compete for the buyer too. Makes it doubly challenging, doubly difficult, but that's the game. It's been three weeks since realtors Reed Griner and Bijan Hirji began looking for Tom and Fran's dream house. Both realtors are feeling the pressure. I actually looked at three properties. One of them I almost threw up in. <laughs> Unless they want to change their minds and go from detached to a semi or a townhouse, they're going to have to change the budget a little bit. Reed has found this detached home in the Mississauga neighborhood that Fran and Tom love. I think this one's a winner. I really felt excited when I saw it, and nobody's been through it yet. But at 415000 it's still a whopping fifty-five grand over Tom and Fran's $360,000 budget. Still, Reed is confident. All right, come on in. Cozy, comfy. Not necessarily your style. We don't have a style yet. Okay, we'll work on that. <laughs> so right through here, we've got a lovely formal dining room. I like the wainscoting. I thought you might like that. I actually too. really do. Now, they've done a fair bit of updating in here. We've got a new ceramic floor, new ceramic backsplash, newer appliances. I love this kitchen. It's a great kitchen, I love this it? kitchen. And it opens onto a wonderful family room. This is awesome. With a fireplace. This is awesome. I got no road in the back for you, no road noise. It's a little smaller lot, it's a little trade-off, and it does have the pool. We have no backyard. You have a backyard, it's just full of pool. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the pool. Okay, so we'll talk about the pool. It's not permanent. It's not. Very nice. All right, so we've got your finished basement. Got some space, got some big built-ins, lots of room for you. I can definitely see having a whole bunch of friends. Like, it looks like I can have a nice get together with the guys down here, and watch it, a game. I think it feels newer than the other house. Yeah. And the master bedroom. It's big. You know, this thing's listed at 415. I know it's a little higher than what you expected. No, our budget was... 350 to 360. How did we end up at 415? You wanted the boxes checked or you want a smaller house? You're gonna have to trade off a little bit. Affordability so. brings a little bit of happiness too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a big discussion about this one, I think. Pool does add value. Mm, does not add value. It does not. It's, it's uh, that's a chore. That's gonna be more work, more crap that we don't have time to do. Hmm. I can I can see us being here. Me too. Well, the budget's going to be an issue for them. Honestly, I think that they probably could afford it. 